I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm Bianca Swift. I'm a poet from Burke High School. <laughs> um, and this poem is called Ancestry.com. I looked myself up on Ancestry.com the other day to try and find my lineage. You know my family trees and my family hanging from the poplar trees? My tear gas soaked legacy? You know my great 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 grandma was a slave. And my great 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 granddad, he was a slave. And my only real claim to fame is my great great granddad, well he was a runaway slave. And because of this I find myself claiming other people's histories to try and sound more interesting. Because I keep calling myself African American, when in fact the African got sold off my American somewhere along the slave trade, like my native tongue isn't my native tongue. And now the only proof that anyone in my family was ever African before their American is my melanin, and I think even she is forgetting. Lightening her tones as if forfeiting any claims to the mother that gave her that hue that used to be just as dark as the place I can no longer remember. My African is counterfeit almost as much as my American is, and what does that make me if not a mixture of currencies that aren't quite right? Because both aren't quite white. I tried to find a legacy that wasn't cotton picking, sugar cane chewing, hands bleeding, feet bleeding, back breaking, no, I'm sorry, I'm a back whipping. I want to find a green leaf on that stupid website that's not slave, who came from slave, who came from slave, who came from slave ship, and then no further data. You know, my parents tell me I came from kings and queens. But every time I bring it up, I get shot down as if nothing magical could have happened before something so tyrannical killed it. And I wonder if it's because no one wants to believe that a history so dark and rich could be whitewashed so easily. Because, you know, I wish I could tell you what tribe I came from, right? What river I had to cross to get here, but I just don't know. And maybe that's why Ancestry.com keeps calling me a slave. And I don't know what I went looking for anyways. Because I'm not really what Ancestry.com tells me I am. I'm not even what society tells me I am. I am a queen without a throne. A king without a kingdom. A human without a history. And what does that make me? It's not a speck of dust on the very fabric of history. Something else others can convince themselves to forget or ignore because I may not have come from kings and queens, but I came from generations of people who worked their way out of slavery and segregation and racism to make me believe it. And is there anything more royal than having the audacity to write your own story? So sorry, Ancestry.com, but I refuse to continue to hang from the branches of your family tree. Woo!